We're back with Viking basketball with head coach Tyler Geving and one weekend of the season already underway as the Vikings finish one and one, a loss on the road, a win at home. And Coach Geving, just a, a quick analysis of those two games, two very different opponents, but uh, what did you see from your team in the first two games? You know, I liked about uh, whatever we played, 80 minutes. I probably liked about 76 minutes of it. I think, you know, at uh, Grand Canyon, we had about a four minute stretch that in the first half, a couple guys with some foul trouble, a couple bad shots, some missed free throws. Just seemed like everything kind of just kind of went wrong for us in that four minute stretch. Unfortunately, that was kind of the difference in the game down there. But overall, I think our kids are, you know, we're off to a good start. Uh, the other night at home, I, you know, even though it's a Division Three team in PLU, a game we should win on, on paper, the kids came out, executed, uh, shared the ball. I think we had 26 assists on, what, seven or nine turnovers, something like that, um, w which was excellent. I think we got to get a little bit better at rebounding the basketball and uh, make your free throws. Uh, Might have cost us the, the first game also going 16 of 29 from the from the charity stripe. So, but overall, you know, a positive, uh, you know, opening week and uh, looking forward to getting on the road. Okay, you talk about assist to turnover ratio. I know that's a key. Is that is that one of your main goals for the uh, non-conference schedule, or, or what what are your main goals to get you fully prepared for Big Sky Conference play? Well, we kind of have three goals every every night, Mike, and one is take care of the basketball. Less than 12 turnovers a game. We didn't do that. At Grand Canyon, I think we had 15. So there's, you know, three possessions in a in a close game. You know that that, that can cost you a little bit. Another goal that we always have is hold our opponents under 42% shooting. We've done that. I think we're, uh, you know, 35 and 33 in the first two games. And then we want to out rebound our opponents. Uh, you know, I think that was the difference in the Grand Canyon game a little bit. We got out rebounded by eight. So. Uh, you know, a couple possessions, take care of the ball a little bit better, rebound a little bit better. Maybe we, we win that game. Obviously, we came back the other night, out-rebounded PLU. So, you know, kind of every game, those are kind of the three things that we, we look to accomplish. And if we can accomplish all three in a game, then we feel like we're in good shape. Okay, and we'll talk about another subject, a very exciting subject this week. Portland State signed two young men to National Letters of Intent, a 6'3 guard, Tyrell Henderson, and a 6'10 forward, Brendan Rummel both out of the state of Arizona. Coach, why don't you tell us a little bit about those young men and uh, uh, why you wanted to bring them to this program? Well, first of all, I mean, both kids are high academic kids. Both kids are above a 3.7. Uh, phenomenal students, probably both going to be in the honors program here at Portland State. Um, so we're excited about who they are as people, as students, uh, high character kids. And then on top of it, they're good basketball players. Tyrell's uh, at Corona del Sol, where I think they've won three or four straight state championships in the same high school as Kalen Robinson, and uh, just a lot of connections through Coach Coburn on, on that one. So he's a kid that really takes pride in, in defending the basketball. Uh, he's a kid that just kind of does everything that maybe doesn't show up in a stat sheet. Uh, you know, definitely on the AAU circuit. He was a great passer, a great rebounder, a uh, great defender, you know, can knock open shots when, when, when they're open. So I uh, really like what he's going to give us and, and a kid that's a winner, been in winning programs. Uh, Brendan, I mean, anytime you can get a 6'10 kid with some, some height and uh, uh, the upside on him is, is off the chart. I think he's a kid that's a, a good post-up player. I think he's an area he can get a little bit better at in, in that area, but he's got a good, strong body. But also, he's a kid that can step out and shoot the 17, 18 feet and uh, has a good uh, you know, mid-range jump shot. So, um, like I said, both great kids, both hard workers, come from uh, good programs, and I think those are kind of the characteristics we were looking for. Okay, now we move on to upcoming games. Portland State plays four of its next six on the road. Four opponents from different Division I conferences here in the West. And uh, we'll talk about just the next two games. Portland State at Texas Rio Grande Valley on Sunday. And then the University of Nevada next Wednesday. Coach, uh, tell us about those opponents and your preparation for those games. Yeah, you know, the good thing is we've had kind of a week to kind of start getting ready for um – for the Texas trip and, and you know, well coached. Uh, their, their coach does a great job. Was at Alabama as an assistant, was at Arkansas years ago when we played them and got to know him a little bit over the summer. They do a great job of running their motion offense and screen you to death. So we're gonna have to do a good job of kind of fighting through screens and they're, they're stingy on the defensive end. They mix up their defenses and play some zone. So we gotta be ready for that and uh, do a good job of switching. So they're just a, a well coached team. Uh, it's gonna be on the road Sunday afternoon, long trip. Um, so I think, you know, for us, we've kind of already 
tried to prepare our kids to be mentally ready and uh, start start kind of getting you know the preparation going for that uh, early in the week and not wait until Friday or Saturday. It's it's something we've been talking about already. And then Nevada will will go right from Texas up to up to Reno. I'm kind of excited for it. You know, I think to kind of get our kids, uh, you know, just used to what Reno's like and where the Big Sky Tournament's going to be by, be at and kind of get them familiar with the lay of the land up there in Reno. But a uh, new coach, Eric Musselman, another guy that was an NBA coach and uh, was at LSU and Arizona State, Coach Caitlin at, at Arizona State. So uh, does a phenomenal job, and, and they've gotten off to a good start. And uh, so we got two tough games on the road, and uh, but we're looking forward to the challenge and see what we can do. All right, that's Viking basketball. Portland State again on the road this Sunday. The game tips off at noon Pacific time, and you can catch the live video and live audio streams. Go to govikes.com for all the information, and then Portland State against the University of Nevada. Next Wednesday, Portland State returns home for a game on Saturday against Multnomah after Thanksgiving. Once again, go to govikes.com for all the information.